Hi everyone, um, no idea if this is working, <laughs> seem to be having some technical difficulties. So maybe I'll wait and see if anybody shows up before I start sharing. It's saying I'm live, but I'm not totally convinced. If you can see me and hear me, can you just, great, thank you Nina. <laughs> I've had some technical difficulties, which is often the case. I've actually got my phone in a tripod at the moment, um, so and it wouldn't wouldn't do anything for a few minutes. So anyway, now it's working great. So welcome. <laughs> um, I just felt um, well. Start as I am makeup free. <laughs> I don't really care about those things so much these days. Um, but I wanted to share some things. I'm sort of recovering from a coldy, virusy thing as well. I've had quite a, a full few days. Um, but I wanted to talk to you all about something that I'm sharing a lot now. And I'm hoping that people will kind of begin to understand more and more. And that's about the emotions and feelings that we have running through the body. Um, thanks, Nina. Um, how we always have to really quiet down. I get so excited about sharing things sometimes. It's like I just need to stop. <laughs> so the, the point really um, is we're all we're all in this sense universe. So we. We have a body um, which is the uh, that holds our divine spirit, our divine essence. Um, the body is our manifestation um, into this this reality, this relative reality. So we are always feeling things, sensing things, tuning into what's going on, and. Everything that we are and that is around us is energy. Um, there's nothing that isn't energy. Everything's energy and everything is connected. And so we are connected energetically to everything. Um, but what we are exists before mind. So the essence of, of what we all are exists before the thought I am. Before the idea of a body before an idea of a world even and when we're born we we come into this world as a, a baby uh, we are naked we are um completely innocent and completely untouched by anything and then through various processes of growing up, um, society, parenting, um, family, all kinds of things, we download and take on board all this stuff that's happening around us. And we are given a name. Um, I know I may have shared some of this before in various other videos, but anyway. Um, we're given a name and then once we've been given a name, we then regard ourselves, we start to see ourselves as separate separate from everything else because once we name anything in consciousness we create a separation from the whole but god cannot be separate from god <laughs> and meaning that existence cannot be separate from existence everything cannot be separate from everything else it is one creation one consciousness and so when we get these feelings, these sensations happening in the body, often we feel that they belong to us, that they are our thoughts, our feelings, our sensations. And actually what we are feeling, what we are experiencing rather, is energy. The energy that is ever moving and all changing and always creating something new. The energy from eternity, essentially. The, the continuum of life 
and we feel this energy and we we take it on board as as it belongs to us and not only do we take it on board as it belongs to us that's my feelings and i'm feeling like this we we give it a name so we give the name some kind of emotion you know we give it oh well this feeling must be this sadness this feeling must be this happiness that must be joy this must be a negative feeling that must be a positive feeling this must be a negative experience that must be a positive experience and all of these ideas about negative and positive and right and wrong and true and not true and untrue and all the the ways in which we can divide ourselves come from the mind including lightness and darkness including good and evil all these ideas are ideas that come from the mind and ideas that separate us and we exist before the mind so we exist before those ideas so coming back to what we're feeling, what we're experiencing, is everything, everything, every moment. And how we interpret that moment, the now, is wherever we might be with our mind, whatever we might be thinking about, whatever some experience we've just had, whatever However, we want to label something as good, bad, right, wrong, hot, cold, light, darkness, truth, untruth. Everything is existing as energy. So when we begin to label everything, not only do we label it as goodness, sadness, joyfulness, peacefulness, we, we also, we give it a meaning, so we give it a story, the mind creates a story, so I am sad because he, she did this, that or the other, we can't blame other people for the way that we feel, what we're experiencing is everything, how can that belong, how can someone else be responsible for that? And what you do with how you feel is your responsibility. So if you're feeling, for example, I don't like to use words, but I have to to explain this. If you're feeling sad, then why not just allow that? Why not just be with that sadness? Why not just create space for that sadness? Instead of trying to push it away, or blame it on someone else, <laughs> which, you know, this is human society. Let's blame this person, that person, anybody other than take responsibility. Waking up to your true nature is about taking responsibility, taking responsibility for the choices, taking responsibility for your feelings, experiences, actions, emotions, health. All these things. No one else can possibly be responsible for any of this. And so when we add a story to an emotion, then we create a problem. <laughs> so not only was I feeling sad, but I was feeling sad because of this. And now I need to find a solution to solve why I'm feeling sad. I can't just allow the sadness to be there or the joy or whatever other label that you want to give basically the energy that you're feeling right now. And so part of what I am sharing and kind of teaching, if you will, although obviously it's not really a teaching, it's just helping people to remember these things. You already all know all of this. It's in your deepest DNA, it's in your cells, it's in your spirits, it's before this conversation, it's all, 
already here. All of this. Is to remember that nothing, no matter how challenging, powerful, overwhelming, whatever other story you want to give that emotion, feeling, sensation, can never annihilate you. The essence of what you are is before all of that, before the mind, before the ideas, before the stories, before what's even being felt. So how can that be destroyed, taken away, annihilated? The essence of you cannot. It is infinite. It is the essence of eternal life. You are eternal. That's the meaning of Christ consciousness, Buddha consciousness, is the realization of the eternal in the body, which is what you are. Eternal divine being living in a body, expressing itself through a body. This is the manifestation that we have been given. The self has been given this manifestation in order to know itself. And everyone that shows up is a divine reflection of that self back to you. And often, and this can get a little confusing, when people say things to you, they're talking about where they're at. But they're not taking responsibility for the way that you have triggered them to feel their own stuff. And this is the other thing we're all here, often responding to each other and triggering each other too. And it's all, all the triggering that happens is to remind us to be a master of our emotions and not to not to be a slave to our emotions and our mind to be a master of our mind and our emotions and to know essentially that what we are can never be touched And the true gold in this life, the true richness of life, is to know yourself as the self. To know your limitlessness, to know your divine, infinite being. And to remember that every moment. And to live from that place. One of the causes of addiction, of course, is this need to escape these feelings that I have, the belief in an I, I have this, this belongs to me, therefore it's a problem and it has a story. And I'm not negating that these experiences shouldn't happen Anybody who has experienced these things needed to for their own growth. And I'm not negating that emotions can be very powerful and overwhelming and deep and destructive for some people. But when you can really give space to what you are, which is this infinite consciousness, every moment without trying to make yourself something else or push things away or fill yourself with something, you know, drugs, alcohol, whatever, to escape what you are. How can God escape God? How can consciousness hide from consciousness? Begin to see that 
everything is just passing through, that you are this vast ocean of consciousness and that all these feelings, emotions, sensations are like waves on the surface. They're a part of the ocean, but they're not the whole of it. Or maybe better to say like clouds moving in the sky, but even the sky is limited. <laughs> And, and you are not limited in any way. And you are not your thoughts. And this is what happens. We have an emotion or a feeling and then we, we attach a thought and a story. And um, the thought and the story create something else. And we go around in circles trying to escape these um, feelings, sensations, emotions. We can't escape them because it's part of the experience of being in a body is to feel, to interact with all the energy around us as energy. But there, there truly is no negativity and no positivity. Those are ideas. They're ideas that come from a mind that's been conditioned into believing that it is separate. There's experience, pure experience and through meditation we can begin to experience experience <laughs> from a pure mind from a place without conditions without ideas and concepts and what is the mind without ideas and concepts without conditionings without stories the mind is very quiet <laughs> without stories, without conditioning. And that's the true meaning of silence, the quiet mind, the open, silent, quiet mind. A place for all possibilities. We've been so conditioned to, to believe in how we feel and to search for things to, to negate how we feel and to cover up how we feel and to shame how we feel. Uh, parents can say to their, I mean, you know, I hear things, kids, parents saying to kids, you know, why are you crying? Don't cry. Or, you know, it's not good to cry or it's not good to feel this or feel that or why are you getting upset or why are you having a temper tantrum? Because that child is in that moment, in that innocence and is expressing what is being felt, not holding back, not trying to push it away, just expressing it as it arises. and allowing the space for it. And in allowing the space for these things, we're, we're loving ourselves because as soon as we negate anything, we push anything away, we're fighting with consciousness. We're consciousness fighting with consciousness. We're not at peace. What do you think war is? <laughs> Where does war come from? 
consciousness fighting with consciousness because the belief that one is right and one is wrong. And we're all having our own experiences. We all have a unique body, a unique filtering system for the energy that surrounds us and for the energy that we are. We all interact with this relative reality in different ways. Our personalities vary. All our personalities are unique. We like to surround ourselves with people of similar ideas, similar truth, for a better word. But this image that we have of ourselves is something that we've created. And as soon as we begin to hold on to the image of this me that we believe we are, that um, will begin to disintegrate. Things in our life will start to fall away to make us see that this me that we created this idea of me doesn't truly exist. So I hope that you can all watch this and begin to watch your emotions, begin to become more aware of your emotions and to witness what is happening in the body, to witness how you interact with the world around you and how your body feels every moment and to, to be in a state of loving allowance for that and not to say that it's a negative experience or a positive experience but just to understand that it's experience that it's energy, that it's life, that it's everything. And a constant flow, infinite flow of everything, moving through you, as you, for you. And that sadness is a word. Happiness is a word. That joy is a word. That peace is a word. All these words have been given ideas, conditionings, connotations, constructs, emotions, feelings. And what you are is wordless, is unspeakable, because what you are is beyond the mind, beyond the thought even of I am. If anyone would like to ask me any questions, I'd be really happy to answer them. Please just post a comment below the video. I hope that you've found this helpful in some way. That's fully my intention to help alleviate some of the sufferings happening in the world. The more you connect with this divine essence within, the more contentment you'll find in your life and you'll see that when things are happening around you, no matter how you want to label it, you can remain in a space of contentment and peace. 
quietness, quietness of the mind. So yes, if you have anything to share, anything you would like to say, anything you'd like to ask me, please um, post a comment below the video. Please feel free to share this, I'll check that it's on public setting. And um, I truly hope that it has helped to settle you in some way, in some, even some small way. Is perfect. And I will aim to do some more regular live videos now and share whatever comes. <laughs> so much love to you all, many, many blessings. Um, I also I have an event on next Saturday, I guess I should really mention that, at Bliss Land in Congleton. Um, it's from 10 a.m. till 5 p.m. I will be giving darshan, um, which is divine blessing, and we will be uh, looking at conscious connection, um, relationships, and healing the body. And it will be a beautiful gathering, and there are some uh, places available which I would love to fill. So if you feel drawn to be in Congleton next Saturday with me and some more beautiful souls to connect, um, share and laugh, <laughs> then I would love to see you there. Please PM me or put a comment again below um, if you'd like to find out more. Much love, many blessings and Namaste. Om Shanti. <laughs>